Hey guys, I wanted to get on here because I am having a lot of people that I'm having to message um, that have just joined or are about to join. So I wanted to have this video um, instead of, you know, just messaging back and forth that you can come to to refer to and just kind of know like, what do I do? What do I do next? So first of all, um, of course, if you're trying to earn your kit, um, I will be helping you with your launch party. And if you've already bought maybe the $22 kit, then we still need to do your launch party um, just to try to get you ahead and try to get you to your first goal. So, you know, if we've already done your launch party beforehand, you're probably pretty close to hitting that $500 um, goal that we had talked about. But if not, if you've just bought your kit and you're just starting, we need to do your launch party. Um, so you'll just need to set up a group on Facebook and then invite your family and friends that you're closest to that may be interested. Um, I normally say like 25 to 35 people. Um, you know, go ahead and message them first and let them know like you're starting your own business and uh, your own home business and ask them if they would like to be invited to your launch event, your launch party. And you know, that personal interaction just kind of helps people to be there that actually want to be there um, and they actually know what's going on. So when you send that invite, you know, they're not just ignoring it because they don't know what it's for um, and they can go there and they know that they're gonna be supporting you. Um, so after your launch party, after you get your kit or whatever, you're probably wondering, well, what do I do next? Like my launch party's over, what do I do now? Because I'm essentially like handing it over to you. I'm here for questions. Um, but essentially it's still your business, right? So I can't run your VIP page for you. Um, I can't do the things that the biz you as a business owner are going to have to do, right? So I'm trying to set back a little more than I normally do. That way that you can learn and you can grow. But of course, I'm still here for questions along the way. Um, so now, you need to make sure that you have a party link open. So when you go to your workstation, um, you should have an email from Scentsy that has your consultant ID. And you will use the password that you use to sign up to log into your workstation. You can Google Scentsy Workstation, it's right there. You can pin it to um, your background, your homepage on your phone or your computer, whichever you use, um, so that it's easily accessible. But first thing is logging in. You are going to need to set up a party link so that you can get, you can earn your free and half off rewards. So um, you're going to go to the menu and there's a orders tab. You go to the orders tab and you're going to click on create a party. And you will add it to your PWS. It's free for three months. So when I ask that, yes, you add it to your PWS and you are the host, so the consultant is the host. You go through the steps and at the end it will give you a link and that's what you need to share with your people. It will say copy URL and that's your party link right there. That's all it means to create a party link. Simple, I do have a video that shows you how to do that. Um, also, there is a checklist. It's the first things first checklist. And that goes through a lot of the basics with you. Um, I also have a first 70 days newbie training um, for this group. So I will add you to that. And it literally covers everything. Um, might cover some of the same things that the first things first checklist does. But you have to complete the first things first checklist on the workstation to be able to get any of your first goals. So their shooting star, which is $500 in sales. You will have a tracker on your dashboard that shows you where you're at. 
So you want to strive to hit that $500 in sales in your first 15 days. Um, like I said, there's a tracker for that and you, you will receive a, I'm just so tired y'all. <laughs> you will receive an award and a charm bracelet for that. So that's super exciting. And that really just helps to set the tone for your business and how it needs to be growing. Um, with that $500 in sales in the first 15 days of like every month. It's the same as when you're starting out as a new consultant. Um, so the first things first checklist, I have these first 70 days onboarding training that I can add you to. Um, but as well, seeking out information on your own. So YouTube is going to be a big, a big thing. You know, if you can't stand to listen to me talk, if you don't like my trainings, that's fine. Um, there's going to be somebody that you can relate to that speaks your language. Um, on YouTube, I do recommend Stacy Behringer. There's Jackie Duran. There's Jennifer Anderson. There's so many Scentsy leaders on YouTube, and they train about anything and everything that you want to know about. Like how to post, how to get social engagement, um, how to build your customer base, how to do a party. All of those things are at your fingertips on YouTube. Also in this group, I do have a ton of information and videos. Um, you can look at the topics um, at the top of this page and there's different topics that you can look at. You can search on the search bar for different things that I've posted and then my videos as well. Um, because I've been doing this for two years and I've basically been training that entire time. Now, some of my stuff is older and it's probably cringy to watch. It's fine. There's still good information. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so tired. That's why I, I made my notes. So we're going to get through this. Okay. I just want y'all to know, like, what do I do next when I join? And this is what it is. First things first checklist. You're going to join my 70 day training. Um, you're going to look up trainings on YouTube. You're going to look at my trainings in this group. Take it all in. You don't have to implement everything at once. Do one thing at a time, but work towards that shooting star. <clears throat> Do your launch party, set up your party link. You are going to want to stir up excitement right away. You need to let your people know that you have started your business. You're starting your own home business and it's exciting. Uh, and it can be whatever you want it to be. So the first thing is letting all your friends and family know that you've started your business and messaging them, calling them, um, texting them, whatever is comfortable to you and like your relationship with them. Um, let your people know that you just started your home business and, you know, just get the word out there. Okay. I'm getting messages and I'm distracted and it's a hard day. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you need to start, um, you know, you can set up an album in your phone just for Scentsy Pictures, and I do recommend that because it gets to be a lot sometimes. You need to be posting real life pictures of things that you like, of things that you think your people would like, um, new LTOs and things like that. You can search on Google, search on Pinterest, search on this page, um, search on Facebook. There's tons and tons of pictures. You can find anything and everything. Just type in the name of the product. So get comfortable with your website. It's your website. Um, get comfortable with posting. You can always copy ideas that I post. Um, you can use my pictures, of course. You can copy bundles that I post. Anything that you need. When you're first starting out, that is fine. Um, don't do it word for word because it'll probably, you know, show up as spam or whatever and it won't show your post. So don't go through and copy other people's posts. 
you can copy and paste, but you need to go in there and change some of the wording and make it more you. Just switch it up a little bit. Um, and that'll help you to learn how to post. But always use real life pictures. Don't I don't really like to use flyers. I do sometimes. But use real life pictures because that's going to pop out at people and make them stop and look more when they're scrolling on their timeline. Um, also, when you get your kit, show how you use Scentsy. If you, you know, get the kit with the counter clean and you just love it, you're using it, show before and after pictures or show a picture of you using it. Um, you know, show how it got those stains out of your couch or your shoes or whatever. Show a picture of you and your favorite scent, your favorite bar. Um, Make sure to use your face as much as you can, to use your own pictures as much as you can, and just show the things that you love, just like you show your um, coffee that you bought this morning, or you know, if you went out to dinner and you show a picture of your meal or whatever, share Scentsy in the same way, because we, we need to show how we use and love Scentsy because if we don't, why would anybody else want to buy it? Like they want to know that you use it daily in your life and that you love the product and that you stand behind the product. Um, share the reasons why. Share how Scentsy can make their life better, how it can solve a problem, right? Um, go ahead and message those that are in your VIP group because they join your VIP group probably Probably because they wanted to be there. And if they don't want to be there, then they will remove themselves, And that's fine. Um, message those people and just be like, Hey, I have officially got my kit. You know, um, if they're local to you, be like, Hey, did you want to come smell some of the testers? Get a catalog? Because your kit will come with testers and catalogs. To be like, hey, you know, you want to come by and smell these, get some catalogs. Um, let me know if you need anything, need help, like picking out a scent. Um, here's my link if you would just ever like to browse. And I appreciate any and all support. Um, you know, just something like that. You can change up the wording to however personal, like how personally, personally you know that person. And you know, just however you actually speak to them. But message those people and just let them know because personal interaction is going to be your main thing in this business, like building relationships and one-on-one -on -one messaging your people. So you're going to want to post on your personal page as well as your VIP page and as well as your stories. So Facebook and Instagram, um, if you're just starting out and you don't know how to use Instagram, that's fine. Start with Facebook. But actually post on your personal page. Don't share from your VIP page to your personal page. Go and make a post on your personal Facebook because for some reason people see that better. Um, I do recommend you making your VIP page private too just because it makes it more exclusive to your VIPs. Um, you know, it makes them excited to be a part of the group. Like I do sneak peeks in there. I show them certain things. I do special bundles for them. I give away samples, things like that. Um, only in my private group. And if you just started, you're probably going to be in my VIP just so you can see how I run it. And you can scroll through and see like different things that I've posted as well. Um, do a live video when you get your kit. Now you can do that in your VIP or your personal Facebook or both uh, and just show them, you know, how excited you are to start your new business, what come in your kit. If you got the $22 kit, um, that's a great way to be like, hey, I got all this for $22. Like it's a full size $30 warmer plus all this extra stuff for only $22. Um, you know, smell the things, tell them what you think tell them why you started. I know it's really scary to do live videos. Like when I first started, I was like, mm -mm. nope, not doing that one, but here I am. Okay. It gets easier with practice. 
and you know, do just a few minute video is okay. Nobody cares that you mess up. They're just excited if you're excited. Um, daily training. So I already talked about the YouTube trainings. Do that daily. And I know that some of you don't have a lot of time. I don't either. Okay. Like I'm so glad that the kids go to daycare a couple days a week and I get to get in here and like do stuff that I haven't all week. But I'm at the point in my business where I need the extra time. Because it's a lot. But anyways. <laughs> anyways, when I started out, I did not have time at all. And so I had to schedule my post. In your group pages, you can schedule your post. When you go to make a post, at the top of it, it will say schedule. And you can schedule, like if you're up at 11, 12 o'clock at night, you know, and that's the only time that you have that your kids and everybody else is asleep, go in there, schedule a few posts for the next day. That's what I do. Um, but the trainings. So you're going to probably be in the car at some point or in the shower or cooking dinner, right? So during that time, put on a training, maybe 10, 15 minute training and listen to it while you're doing those things that you have to do anyways. That will help you a lot. I'm trying to think of ways to like save you time because I know like I was really stretched for time when I started a lot and you know I was staying up like I was doing these things that I probably didn't have to do so I'm trying to trying to help y'all as much as I can um keep a notebook I just have a simple little notebook like this and I will write down people who comment on my post I will write down ideas that I just come up with or things that maybe I want to try out later. Um, people who comment and interact on your post or your stories. And that way you can follow up with them. You know, if they commented on like the Hocus Pocus or something, you can go back and follow up with them and ask if, you know, they want to put in a pre-order or, you know, just simply thank them for showing some love on your post. I do that all the time. And normally, you know, they'll be like, oh, of course, or whatever. Sometimes you can kind of like start a little bit of a conversation that way um, and just mainly keep showing up so I don't want you to be overwhelmed this is one thing at a time it's on your terms you can make it whatever you want it to be and does that have to be like you don't have to hit the ground running and like do all these things and learn everything in a day okay I want you to focus on setting up your link that way people can order from you do your first things first checklist and start watching trainings as much as you can um, post every day and then everything else it will come it will come with time um, you have questions about something we can try one thing at a time you can try mystery bags. You can try whatever you want to to try to get those orders. But right now, just let people know what you're doing and that you're excited and get that momentum built up. You stay excited. Um, keep posting. Keep showing up and people are going to know that you're serious and you're not just going to stop in a month or so. You know, take a deep breath. You got this. I love you guys.